Ibarre Ejimakide. The state news. As Osho State continued to bustle in the Ivoria of the 33rd anniversary of its creation, the state governor, Senator Ademola Adeleke, has solicited the continued support of the people of the state to achieve accelerated development. He urged them to put aside political, religious, and other sentimental considerations and collectively support the state government, promising to continue to lead a right. And I appreciate your support. The government cannot do it alone. You have to join hands with me, regardless of your political affiliation, regardless of uh, where, what part of uh, uh, state you know you, you come from. Let us join hands together and make us great. Let us make sure Oshun State is is a reference point to the to, to other state, you know and. Join hands together and move Oshun State to that uh, 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 promised land. So you are welcome to join me in moving Oshun State forward. The 33rd anniversary colloquium of the state featured an engaging interactive session that traced the state's history and future prospects. Attendees participated in vibrant discussions reflecting on milestones and challenges over the years. If Oluwa Jolayeni covers the event. The 33rd anniversary of the creation of Osho State, marked by a colloquium organized by the State National Union of Journalists, featured interactive section that traced the historical trajectory of the state while signposting the future. The discussion moderated by the special advisor to the governor on OSBC, Dr. Femi Adefila, at the discussant which included the State Commissioner for Information and Public Engagement, Mr. Kolakpo Alimi, member of the Civil Society of Nigeria, Comrade Wahid Lawal, a veteran journalist, Prince Adepoju Atobatele, and architect Koke Omi Modu. The panelists extensively discussed topical issues on improving security, education, agriculture, economy, healthcare delivery, among other aspects of life that can transform the profile of the state and make life more meaningful for the citizens. The discourse on moving the state forward also had contributions from the participants who demonstrated zeal and passion in exploring options, means, and ways that will better the state. Governor Ademola Adeleke, who was represented by the State Commissioner for Information and Public Engagement, lauded contributions of all the leaders that have ruled the state noting that his administration also hit the ground and is working assuredly in improving the lot of the citizens as evident in infrastructural development, food security, education, healthcare delivery, as well as overall welfare of the citizens. In his remarks, the chairman of Ocean State Nigerian Union of Journalists, Comrade Wasiu Ajadushu, said, the colloquium has been carefully chosen to rob minds among intellectuals with the aim of shaping the future of the state in all ramifications. Look at our sources. And then you agree with me that the panelists are able to do justice to this, looking at the area of sources. And the area of sources include infrastructural development of the state. If I should, should have been under your state, I think by now we can hardly have a flyover in our state. And every corridor and corner of the state that have witnessed one development or the other, we see be there. So the state is moving gradually, but we believe that the Fordham Fires, they have a dream of moving the state faster than this. The colloquium featured presentations of awards to Governor Ademola Adeleke, late Governor Isiaka Adeleke, among other deserving personalities, and the commissioning of Olu Oshunbo Modern Hall by Governor Ademola Adeleke. Ife Olu Ajola Emi reporting for OSBC News. The state governor, Senator Ademola Adeleke, has described his wife, Erelu Ngosi Adeleke, as a woman of exceptional strength, grace, and light, emphasizing that her contributions to the family, to the family and societal development are invaluable. Governor Adeleke stated this at the 51st birthday celebration of Erelu Ngosi Adeleke head in Ede. Governor's Office Correspondent, Uluwatu Bilobao Dunuga, reports. 
In a grand celebration marked by elegance and grace, Irelu Ungozi Adeleke, the wife of the Ocean State Governor, Senator Ademola Adeleke, celebrated her 51st birthday in style. The event which took place in Ede was highlighted by the unveiling of a new book titled Ungozi and the launch of the Esther Adeleke Humanitarian Foundation, which aims to provide essential support to vulnerable populations across Ocean State, underscoring Irelu Adeleke's commitment to philanthropy and community service. In a house paid tribute to his wife, Governor Ademola Adeleke, expressed his profound love and admiration for his wife, saying his heart is filled with joy, pride, and admiration to celebrate her on her birthday. Reflecting on their journey together, the governor reminisced his journey with Erelu Ngozi Adeleke, adding that their moment together remained a cherished memory, a joy celebration that he wished would never end. Governor Adeleke further emphasized the pivotal role his wife has played in his life, adding that in the years that have passed, amidst life challenges, she remained a beacon of light in his world, reaffirming his unwavering commitment to her. In her response, the celebrant who is the wife of the governor, Erelu Ngozi Adeleke, appreciated God who has brought her thus far. Irelu Adeleke noted that her 51st birthday celebration was not just a personal milestone, but a public declaration of her deep-rooted passion for humanitarian causes. She added that the unveiling of her book, Ungozi, offers a glimpse into her life, her principles, and the driving forces behind her relentless dedication to uplifting others, reiterating that the simultaneous launch of the Esther Adeleke Humanitarian Foundation further solidifies her role as a beacon of hope for the less privileged in Ocean State. Very glad and very happy. At least... God spared my life till I'm not even getting to still have it. He spared my life to be alive today to witness the crowd today that came here to honor me. I'm so grateful. My advice to the youth, to the young people out there, is to always look unto God. Because with God, all things are possible. Whatever you want to achieve in this life, if you keep praying, keep looking unto God, keep working hard, definitely God will grant your effort. Present at the gathering were the Deputy Governor, Prince Kola Adewusi, Chief of Staff to the Governor, Alaji Kazim Akinleye, friends and family members of the celebrant, top government functionaries among others. Highlights of the occasion were the cutting of the cake, the unveiling of the book titled Ungozi, and the launch of the Esther Adeleke Humanitarian Foundation, just as the celebrant showed the audience with her dancing steps. It has been Oluwa Tobilova Odu Nuga reporting. Senator Ademola Adeleke will be inducted as the pioneer executive patron of Nigerian Air Force Officers Mess in Oshogo tomorrow. The statement by the president of the Mess Committee, Air Commodore AA Adebomei, indicates that the induction is part of the activities of the Tumbola Night organized to mark the commissioning of the Officers Mess. The event, which we also feature the Women in of honorary members of the mess is scheduled at the Air Force Base Ukivale in the morning. According to the statement, the Director General and Permanent Secretary of OSBC, Mrs. Jolade Ibarola, is among other dignitaries expected to grace the occasion as special guest of honor. That ends the state news of OSBC TV journals at 5 for the evening news. Good afternoon.